A vehicle has come into your shop and you have identified what ADAS systems it has. What's the next step? We're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Garage. A pre-repair scan is essential in that it is part of the blueprinting and damage analysis process necessary to identify what might be wrong with the car, both related and unrelated to the collision. For example, consider an x-ray. You have been in an accident and are banged up and it hurts to move your arm. The doctor can't tell if anything is broken, so the first step to assess the damage is an x-ray. Some things to double check before you pre-scan the vehicle include is the steering wheel pointed straight ahead? Do you have access to dedicated Wi-Fi? Do you have battery support on the vehicle? While the vehicle's battery may be important to power the scan tool you're using for diagnostics, that is not the most critical reason to have steady battery voltage with battery support. Electronics are sensitive to surges and power drains as well as changes in resistance. That's how they detect problems. When not enough power is present, not only are diagnostics of DTCs flawed during a pre-repair scan, post-repair scan, and even calibrations, but numerous additional codes can be set as a result of the low voltage condition. If you're using a remote diagnostic service, you'll submit the pre-repair scan and it should be dispatched to a technician specializing in a specific brand of vehicle who will utilize OEM sourced software. The remote technician should provide clear communication about what needs to be done and the supporting OEM service information and position statements as necessary. During any diagnostic scan, there should be live data verification and DTC assessment to have a clear understanding of what the current status of the vehicle's electronics and ADAS systems are, as well as what needs to be repaired and calibrated on the vehicle. Take note, technicians should take into consideration all ADAS components in the vehicle. Having somewhat intimately familiar with the vehicle make and model will greatly assist the shop to be able to identify all the repairs that are actually needed to safely repair the vehicle. In our next video, we'll discuss the next step in handling an ADAS equipped vehicle, the disassembly and blueprinting process. I'm Jason Stahl, thanks for watching.